microdosing is possible because the doctor doesn't have to follow that guideline. They can give you a lower dose if they think it's better for you. Accutane was approved way back in the day at this dosing schedule. And when they're approving a drug, they base the dosing schedule off of different case studies that were done or animal trials. And if that dose works and it's safe and there's a good you know, risk to benefit ratio, they approve it at that dose. And then that becomes the standard dose. But especially back then, like it's not like they tried every single dose and then were like, Yep, this is the best dose. Right. They just tried a dose and it worked, so they ran with it. Now that we have other studies where this is not the FDA approved you know, dosing schedule, uh, but there's a ton of evidence showing that it works and it has reduced side effects. I think that's such a key thing. Like if you just get into like the logistics of how these things actually get approved, like for them to have gotten a lower dose, like a micro dosing schedule approved, they would have to go and conduct new mice studies and like yeah. new clinical trials. Like yeah. they're not going to do that. And sometimes with drugs, you'll see like a, a dose like escalation study where they're trying to find the right dose. And a lot yeah. of times these things, these studies are not done until like after yeah. like a drug is approved at a certain dose. You know, to your point of it's up to your doctor. Like I think that is the beautiful thing about the way it works is like one thing that was the FDA approved schedule. A doctor has the ability to prescribe off label on their own dosing schedule based on what they think is best for you and that's why something like microdosing is possible because the doctor doesn't have to follow that guideline they can give you a lower dose if they think it's better for you